Hello Year 2s and welcome to Monday's Maths lesson. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Um, thank you so much for all your hard work you did last week. It's been wonderful to see all the work that you've been sending in. Now last week we were doing uh, work on multiplication and we're going to carry on with that this week. We're going to build on what you have already been doing. Now I want you to try and remember what we were doing last Thursday when we were looking at making arrays. Hopefully you managed to find some arrays in your house. Um, when I walk around now, I just see them everywhere. And I thought we'd start off by singing our array song. Hopefully some of you have remembered it, but if not, join in with me. Okay, so let's go. Array, array, let's multiply today. It's lots of fun for everyone. Array, array, array. Well done to those of you who remembered. Okay, so we're going to be carrying on today with looking at arrays, but before we start that, we need to warm up our maths brain. So as we did last week, I'm going to share some activities with you, and then there'll be an activity for you to do on your own at home and email into us. So I'm just going to share my screen with you now, so bear with me one second while I do that. Okay, so you should be seeing a hundred square on the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to warm up our mass brains by counting in twos to start with. So let's start, hmm, let's start on a different number. Let's start on number 22 and see if we can get up to 50 today. Okay, so let's start on 22. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Well done, fantastic. So when we're counting in twos, we're always missing out a number. It's kind of um, like skip counting where you're missing something out. Um, really good to keep practicing counting forwards and backwards in twos. So you've become really confident in that. Okay, so now we're going to count in fives. And today we're going to start on number 45. Let's see if we can get up to a hundred. Okay, let's go. 45, 50. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Well done, fantastic. So hopefully you have remembered that when we're counting in fives, the ones digit will either end in a five or it will end in a zero. So well done to all of you who have remembered that. Okay, last one to warm up our maths brains. Let's count in tens all the way to 100. Off we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well done. I'm going to challenge you now. I wonder if we can count in tens, but this time we're not going to start on 10. We're going to start on 50. Okay, you ready? So we're going to count in tens from 15. So remember, when we count in tens on a hundred square, we are going down the hundred square. The ones digit stays the same and the tens digit goes up by one ten. Okay, so let's start. 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, well done. Okay, we're going to do one more. Now this is something that you can practice all the time. If you've got a hundred square, um, download one from the Padlet and you can practice counting in tens from any number, forwards and backwards. It's so good for your number fluency. So let's start on number two and count in tens from the number two. Okay, two, it's gonna come next, 12. 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. So you should have noticed that the ones digit stayed the same, ending in two, 
and the tens did it goes up by one ten each time brilliant i think our mass brains are well and truly warm now okay so let's look at what we're going to be doing today we are going to be looking at multiplications. Let's just remind ourselves of the vocabulary, the words we use when we're talking about multiplication. So I'm gonna to point to a word, I want you to read it out on the screen. Okay. Equal groups, equal, multiplication, array, times, multiply, repeated addition, lots of, so all those words are words that we might use when we're talking about multiplication. So we've already looked at making equal groups. We've already looked at doing repeated addition. And we've already started looking at arrays. And today we're going to be carrying on at arrays, looking at arrays. Okay, so let's move on. I have got an array here. Can you see my array here? It's made out of counters. I wonder if you could write a repeated addition number sentence for that array. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to pause your video and have a go at writing a repeated addition number sentence for that array. So pause your video and then come back to me when you've done that. Welcome back. Okay, so let's have a look at this array and remind ourselves what it means. So I have got two equal groups here. I wonder how many have I got in this group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven in one group. So what does that mean? There must be seven in the other group. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so what number sentence could you write as a repeated number sentence here? Well, we've got two equal groups, so we would have seven add seven. What is seven add seven? If you don't know that answer, you could count the counters. So we know there's seven in that one, so I don't need to count those ones. So we know that's seven. Let's count these ones. So we've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So seven add seven is 14. I wonder, could we write that in a different way? Let's see, what could we do? We've got two lots of seven. So I could write it as two times seven equals 14. Fantastic. Now I wonder if I could represent that array in a different way. If I was to make the group slightly different. Let's, so let's just rub this out. Just bear with me while I rub this out. And I'm going to try and see if I can make some different groups. So, okay. I've got one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two. So what a repeated addition number sentence could I write for that now? Now I've put them into groups of two. So pause the video and write down the repeated addition number sentence. Welcome back. Okay, so we're counting in twos this time and we have got seven lots of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I was going to write that as a repeated addition number sentence, I would need to write two, add two, add two, add two, add two. Let's check how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, add two, add 
two equals, now we, don't, we know the total is not going to be different because I haven't changed the number of counters. I've just changed the way I've counted them. So we know that the, num the answer, the total was 14. So two add two add two add two add two add two add two equals 14. So seven lots of two. How could we write that as a multiplication number sentence? Have a little think. Say it out loud to the screen. Okay, if you said seven times two, well done, because we've got seven lots of two. And remember, lots of, the way we represent lots of is to use the multiplication num uh, symbol. So seven times two equals 14. So the answer hasn't changed. We've just swapped the calculation around because seven times two is the same as two times seven. So remember, we can do multiplication in any order. Well done, that's a quick recap. Let's have a look now at some more arrays, okay. I've got some two different arrays here. I want you to have a look at them and tell your adult, what do you notice? Are they the same? Are they different? Pause the video and tell your adult what you notice about these arrays. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so are, are they the same or are they different? Let's have a look at them. In this one, we have one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two. Okay, in this one, we have one group of five, two groups of five. Have they got the same total? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in that one. Okay, so if I was to write a multiplication number sentence for the top array, I need to think about how many in each group. There are two in each group. I then need to think about how many groups I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So my multiplication number sentence would be five, lots of, so my times symbol, two equals, and we counted 10 in total, 10. So five times two equals 10. On the bottom array, we've got two lots of five. So we're counting in fives two times. So our number sentence, our multiplication number sentence would be two, lots of five. So we're going to use our multiplication symbol, two times five equals 10. So we've got the same answer, but the calculation is written in a different order. Five times two is the same as two times five. Okay, pause the video and have a go at writing a multiplication number sentence for these two arrays and then come back to me. Welcome back. Okay, hopefully you've uh, been able to write a multiplication for each of these arrays. Let's have a look at uh, the first one. So we have got one group of four two groups of four, three groups of four. So three lots of four. So remember our lots of can be represented by our multiplication symbol. So three times four equals. Now you can count in fours, but if that's tricky, then what you need to do is just count the total number of counters. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So our answer is 12. Well done if you've got that answer. Let's look at the bottom one now. So this time I have got 
one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five, four groups of five, five groups of five, six groups of five. So that's the same as saying six lots of five. So I need to write six times, that's our lots of five. And we can count in fives to work this out. So rather than counting the individual counters, let's count in fives, off we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So our answer is 30. So well done if you managed to write a multiplication for each of those arrays. So today, your independent challenge. On Padlet, there are some challenge cards which hopefully you have been able to print out. What we'd like you to do is stick the array that you have chosen as your challenge in on a piece of paper or in a book that you're using. Circle the groups, work out how many are in each group. And then I would like you to write a repeated addition number sentence for the array and then write a multiplication number sentence. So an example has been done for you here. So I chose this array. The first thing I did is I circled the groups. So I've circled one group of five, two groups of five, three groups of five. So I know I'm counting in fives and I've got three lots of five. I've then written my repeated addition number sentence, five add five add five equals 15. Then I've written my multiplication number sentence. I've got three, lots of five, lots of remember represented by a multiplication symbol, three lots of five, so three times five equals 15. So have a go at um, writing a repeated edition and a multiplication for the challenge cards which have been sent to you. And then please send in your work to our year two email. I really look forward to seeing them. So take care, enjoy the rest of your learning today and I will see you soon. Goodbye.